Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody's doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Carla, and today we are going to continue the Dollar Tree thing that I have going on right now. Um, I did a Dollar Tree haul, and then um, my daughter and I filmed a Dollar Tree snack tasting video. <laughs> that those should already be up. And now we are going to be playing with some Dollar Tree makeup. So I was able to find all of the Ioni um, makeup that came out. I don't wear false lashes, um, so I haven't tried the Ioni false lashes, but I saw that they had makeup. So I went out and only one Dollar Tree in my area had this makeup. And I don't know if I found everything. I might still be missing some stuff. But I picked up everything that I could. I have the I have the two mascaras. I have the uh, dramatic black and the voluminizing black. So I have both of those. I have the eyeliner. I have the eyebrow pencil or two brow pencils. <laughs> I have an eyeliner and some brow gel as well as some lip products. So we're gonna be trying those out and then I also have a bunch of makeup that I've been like kind of storing for a Dollar Tree video. So I have all of my Dollar Tree makeup in this little bag right here. So we're also gonna be playing with that. And once I'm done with um, all of the makeup try on, I do have these little like Dollar Tree little boxes here and I'm going to be putting all of my Dollar Tree makeup in these little boxes. So I picked up two. I have this purple one which is extremely cute. It reminds me of when I was a little girl. I used to keep all of my nail products in boxes like these. Um, so I have the purple and I also have the blue and I also have some um, five below boxes here or five below like storage containers. These little ones here that I have, I have two of these. So I'm going to be putting all of my Dollar Tree makeup into those little containers. So yeah, let's get started with the makeup. I'm gonna dig into my bag here and see what I have. I should have a full face of makeup, so let's get started. <laughs> Sorting out all the makeup because it's a lot and I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to try everything in this video, obviously. Um, but I just kind of sorted out what I have and what I kind of want to try today. So let's go with that. I feel like this light is like super bright. I really don't like to film too much with my ring light. I prefer to um, film with natural light, but the day got away from me. <sighs> She's been doing so much stuff. I didn't have a dryer. My dryer broke for a while. So I have piles and piles of clothing. I had like three weeks of laundry that I needed to do and I've just been going through it today <laughs> so I've been like doing so much stuff today and the day kind of got away from me but it's okay we're gonna play with makeup makeup makes everything so much better okay so I have two foundations from the Dollar Tree or two foundations that I found at the Dollar Tree I have the Sassy and Chic this is my favorite Dollar Tree foundation it's actually one of my top favorite foundations um, to be quite honest with you I love lightweight foundations so this is perfect for me and then I also have the um, Wet n Wild cushion foundation that you can find at Dollar Tree sometimes now with Dollar Tree sometimes you can find things and sometimes you don't like I said only one of my Dollar Trees had the Ioni stuff so yeah when you see something on the Dollar Tree grab it because you're for sure not going to see it again so yeah but this I'm pretty sure you can find it all the time it is a Dollar Tree item and it's really good I love this foundation um I also have a sponge to try so this is the Sassy and Chic Shark Oil Blender makeup sponge I've hadn't seen them before so that's pretty cool it feels really nice it feels really soft um it didn't it doesn't feel like it absorbed the water um how do i say it? i say it um like my sponge that i have here it feels almost dry even though it's wet as to where this one i you can see the water still dripping like there's water coming out of it still even though i already tried to get as much of the water out it feels like the water still lingers no matter what i do so we'll see i don't know if i'm going to like it but we'll give it a try okay first we are going to prime and i do have two primers 
So I have the um, Hard Candy Color Correcting Primer here. And then I also have the LA Colors Smoothing Face Primer. So I have two. Um, the LA Color says that it minimizes the pores. So I'm going to be using this one all over the face and I'm gonna put this one on my nose, which is where I have like the larger pores. So let's go in with the Hard Candy. Fair Candy is a green. <laughs> okay, I've never tried a green primer before. Oh my gosh. This looks like a, like a face mask. It has a little bit of a perfume scent, which is weird. I don't really like perfume scents on my makeup stuff. I am going to thin my hair back really quick, just so it's not on my face. Now this is a color correcting primer. I do see a little bit of green, I don't know if you guys can see it, so I hope that when I put on my foundation, the green goes away. But let's try the LA face primer as well and I'm going to put this one mainly on my nose and if you see me looking down and it's pure white oh my god what is this video gonna turn into um it's because I have my mirror right here so <laughs> oh my god okay we're gonna, we're gonna try and trust the process Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay. You guys. What is this? <laughs> oh my god. What in the world? Have you ever seen a primer do this before? Because I haven't. Oh my god. I swear I couldn't make up this stuff. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think that those two primers are playing good together. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to take this off and start over. Because this is going to mess with my foundation. Like look. What in the world? I've never had a primer do this to me before. I look like I'm going, like I'm doing Halloween makeup. That's how I look. Wow. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe this off and we will start again. Okay, I wiped that off. We are going to start over. We're gonna start fresh. So even though it's Dollar Tree makeup, I like to give it a good chance. I don't like to see it fail, so I'm not gonna be using those horrible primers. So if you see those primers at your Dollar Tree, stay away from these. These are fails. They are going into the trash as soon as I am done filming this video. <laughs> they are fails. Um, so, like I said, I like to give the makeup a good shot. So I'm gonna go in with my Heart Candy Primer Balm. I love this stuff, it's so good. It's a little bit more hydrating than the e.l.f. Putty Primer. So I do enjoy this one quite a bit. Uh, I already feel so much better on my skin. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Sassy and Chic Foundation and we're gonna give this sponge a go. Okay, here is how the foundation looks. It looks really good. It looks very natural. I feel like it um, evens my skin tone, but it doesn't give me a lot of coverage, but that's okay. I enjoyed this product a lot, like I said. I really do enjoy it. It's <laughs> It's kind of similar to like a tinted moisturizer, but I feel like it's beautiful for like every day um, or days when you just don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup. I just think that it is beautiful. The sponge is not my favorite. It did its job, but I just don't like how it feels. It's not my favorite. 
um, I do want a little bit more coverage, so I'm going to put a little bit of the cushion one on top of this one. Um, I've also tried this uh, foundation in the past, and I do enjoy it a lot. I do like it. Um, I think that I prefer this Wet n Wild cushion foundation more than their actual foundation. This is what it looks like unopened. I think it might be a little too dark for me, but we're gonna give it a try and see. Oh, actually, I think it might work out just fine. Okay, and that just gave me just a little bit something extra. Um, the color worked out beautiful, actually. I thought it was gonna be a little too dark because it is like a beige, but um, it actually worked out pretty good. It went on super smooth. Definitely recommend if you guys see this foundation, pick it up because it's really good. Okay, now I do have a concealer. It is from Wet n Wild. Um, so this is the Instant Flawless Complexion Highlight Conceal and Lift Dark Spots. And I got this one in Posing Nude. So hopefully it'll be a good one and it won't be too light. I don't really like a light um, under eye. So... Hopefully this will work, is what it looks like. Let's give it a little shake. And then, it has like a little brush here. Okay, so it's coming up. It sucks because like, I pushed almost all the products so really it doesn't have a lot of product it has a little bit of product so you know for a dollar it's fine but if, if, if it costs more than that then that's not good that is actually really nice I mean it's like coverage but it's actually pretty nice it blended really nicely and um, actually this sponge the more I use it the more I like it it's one of the best um, Dollar Tree sponges that I've tried, so um, definitely if you want to give it a try, go ahead because it's actually pretty good. I have the LA Colors Loose Powder in the shade Light Medium. So we are going to set our under eyes with this. I'm not going to set my whole face yet because I do have a few cream products that I want to try. So I'm just going to quickly um, set my under eyes so cute it's <laughs> so small I hope it's not too dark because it is light medium but hopefully it'll work for us okay so the powder doesn't seem to be too terrible it is a little bit darker but it's okay it doesn't seem to be too bad so it's fine um, so I am going to be trying out all of the cream products that I have. So the two um, liquid bronzers that I have are, one is from a Revlon, which is this one right here. This is in the shade Espresso. And then I also have a cushion one from Wet n Wild, and this one is in Cafe Slay. Cafe Slay. I don't even know. But let's try one on one side and one on the other. Why not? So we can try both of these. So this is what the little flesh container looks like. Oh, that's like, that's like really dark. Let's see. Oh, that's like really, really dark. Okay. Let's just try just a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that much. I'm gonna grab my sponge and the blend. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I feel like I can go a little bit more now that I know how to use it. <laughs> I do feel like with this product, you kind of have to work as you go, because I feel like it might dry, and then you can't really 
work with it. So one side at a time is good with this product. Doesn't look too bad. Now let's try the other side with the Wet n Wild cushion. Just gonna take it in my sponge. So right off the bat. The Wet n Wild one is more, um, it's more warm tone as to where the other one's a little bit more cool tone. So it is going to be looking a little different, but that's okay. Um, I do think that I prefer the stick one better because I can just draw a line and it looks nice and sharp as to where this side, it just kind of looks a little messy, but that's my fault. I should have grabbed it on a... A brush I do have a brush that I like to use for um, cream contour so I should have grabbed it on that brush and then draw the little line so that was my fault but still I think that I preferred the Revlon one better to be honest they're both nice but I do prefer the stick one better just because it's easier to manage than this one this one's a little bit more liquidy so I feel like it's easier to get it all over the place and not be precise with it but um, they're both nice I do like them both and I have two cream blushes from flower beauty so I have this one in the shade winsome rouge some which is like a nice coral and I also have this one Oh, they're the same blush. <laughs> they're the same blush, but different packaging. Win some, rouge some. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. No, they're not the same. Okay, I guess the name of the blush is Win some, rouge some cream blush. But this one is actually in Forget Me Not. And this one is in Peach Blossom. So I think... I think I'm gonna go with the rosy one. No, actually, let's, let's go with the peachy one. Yeah. So this is cool that we find Flower Beauty at um, a Dollar Tree. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so I think that I'm going to grab a brush first and foremost. So I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just going to dip it in the blush and place it on my cheek. And then I'll go over it with my sponge. It's a little bit dry, it's not too creamy. But who knows how long it's been at Dollar Tree, so is it really the blush or, you know, or is it because it's been at Dollar Tree for so long? It is a nice color though, I really do like it, it's really pretty. Okay, so now that I did all of my cream products, I'm going to set my face. I do have to say, though, that this powder is really nice. So if you guys see it, definitely try it because it's really nice. The LA Loose Powder. I like it. They also have the LA um, Colors one, the... You can find that in all Dollar Trees, they always have it. This one's also very nice. I'm just gonna put some on my under eye since that powder is just a little dark and I just kind of want to line things up. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my under eye. Uh, my lips are looking a little dry, so I'm gonna try one of these lip balms. I've never tried them before. They are from One Wild. They are the gel lip balms. I have two of them. I have the shade Play and the shade Rule. Play is lighter, Rule is like purple. So we are obviously gonna try the lighter one. That's how the packaging looks, very pretty. I wonder if it has color to it. Hmm. It does, it has color. <laughs> it's more like a lipstick than a lip balm. Oh, let's do some powder powder products now. So I have 
So I have this bronzer from LA Colors. This is the Gorgeous Bronze Glow in Bronzed Beauty. Um, now, I was a little scared <laughs> to try this bronzer because it has glitter. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see. But you see how shimmery that is? But I have seen people use it and they say that it looks really pretty. So we're going to give it a go and see how it looks. I do like a luminous bronzer, so... I can definitely see the lum luminosity, but it doesn't seem like it's like chunks of glitter. But if you don't like luminous products in your face, then stay away from this bronzer because <laughs> I can definitely see the glow. But this will be like a nice bronzer for like the summertime. I definitely do feel like I look um, very bronzed today, but <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it whatsoever. I do have two powder blushes. I have this one from Heart Candy. This one is in Punch, which is a beautiful pink. And I also have this one from Beauty Benefits, and this one is in Pink Clouds. Um, so the one that I have right now is like a peachy shade. So I think I'm going to go with this one just because this one is very pink. Um, so we are going to try the Beauty Benefit. So this is what it looks like. Let me grab my blush brush. And I don't need a lot because <laughs> I already have a lot of blush on my cheeks. Very pretty. I like it. I do, I like it. I'm liking everything so far except for those primers. Those primers were horrible, so I from those. But everything else I am liking. So I do have a couple of highlights. So I have this e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter. And I also have this one from Beauty Benefits. And I also have the Cushion one. The Cushion one seems to be like a pink. So I think we are going to skip on this one. So it's between the benefits and this one. So I think I'm going to go with the benefits first and see how that looks. A pretty champagne and this one's called Ray of Light. Very pretty. Wow. This is really nice. That's very pretty. Ooh. I like this. That's so pretty. Okay, I also love the highlight that looks just like this from LA Colors. It has the same exact packaging, but it's a highlight. That highlight is, it's beautiful. So if you see it, grab it because it's beautiful. And then now, if you see this one from Beauty Benefits, grab it because it's also <laughs> very, very beautiful. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I was actually expecting nothing. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a fail. I was expecting it to be like powdery and not good at all, so that was, that was surprising. Okay, so I am surprised by these two little products right here. These are really, really good. So, if you see them, grab them. They're really good. They're nice. Okay, so, as far as eyeshadows go, I do have a couple of things. Two liquid eyeshadows here. I have one from LA Colors and I have one from Hard Candy. And I have these little double um, shadow things from LA Colors in like a purple shade. But I also have this cute little um, eyeshadow, okay. cute little eyeshadow palette. This is from the Broadway Colors. Um, I found this at one of my Dollar Trees. I had never seen it before in any of my other ones. And this one is in the shade Athena. So they're all very much cool tone. So I think we're going to use this palette in conjunction with all the other ones so this is what it looks like it seems like all of these it doesn't seem like they're mad they seem like they have some kind of sheen to them so i'm gonna grab this white one just to set the primer and that one does seem to have like a little bit of like a glitter it's not like a chunky glitter or nothing but you can definitely see a little something in there so i set the primer um, I really want to use this one because it's so pretty. So I think that I am. I think that I'm going to use the blues 
in this palette so that I can use this because it looks really pretty and I want to try it. <laughs> this is called the Glitterazzi Prism Flip Liquid Eye Color and this one is in the shade Galactic. So it's like one of those um, shades that, you know, kind of looks blue, but then it looks purple when the light hits it. I love the packaging. I love like the little spikes on the little thing here. Very pretty. It looks like it's a chunky eye color, but look at that. That looks beautiful. Okay, so let's prep my eye color. Go in with this light blue, and I'm going to take it in that same um, brush. And I'm just going to put that in the crease. To be honest with you, I don't seem to be getting like a lot of pigment from this little palette. I don't seem to be getting much. And I am dipping my brush in there pretty, pretty heavy. <laughs> Go to that darker blue and put that in the crease as well. Okay, I seem to be getting a little something from that one. Not too much though. <laughs> not really much. Yeah, so it seems like I don't, I'm not getting a lot of pigment from these um, shadows. <laughs> Doesn't seem like they had a, a lot of pigment. Didn't seem like it was a good palette to begin with. Um, let's try some of these dark shades. Well, this black one, mm, not really, no. No. They seem to be very, very, very light. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna get a lot from them, but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. I'm just gonna grab one of these light ones and kind of just clean the harsh edges. Okay, so now let's go in with that beautiful shade. I think I'm actually gonna use both. I think I'm gonna use this light purple one, like in the inner part and then use the blue on the rest of my eyes. Let's just play, why not? I mean, I'm not going anywhere, so let's just play with makeup and see what we can come up with. Okay, and then let's put the purple pink one in the inner part of my lid and see how that looks. I think that looks really pretty. I mean, it's different for me. <laughs> I don't usually do things like this, so that's definitely outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> but it's really pretty. I do like it. I like the combination of those two. I think that it looks really pretty. These are not that great. So if you see them, don't, don't even bother. These are not that great. Um, but the little liquid ones, I do like them. I have to wait until they fully dry to see if they feel good because sometimes with these, they kind of feel heavy and like crusty on the eyelids. So I'm just gonna give them a minute to kind of dry down and then we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna do, a little bit of shadow under my eyes and I think I'm gonna take these so we can try these. So I have a darker and a lighter purple so I think I'm gonna take one on half. Mm, let's see. Let's see what I want to do. So I have one lighter and one darker. Not by too much. I think I'm gonna grab the darker. I think I'm gonna grab the darker one and this one is called doesn't have a name. That's okay. <laughs> We're gonna grab the dark one and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. Okay, it doesn't seem like they have a lot of pigment either. <sighs> yeah, so it doesn't really have a lot of pigment either. Let's try the other one. No, these are not very pigmented. Eyeshadows at Dollar Tree, 
I haven't really found like an eyeshadow at Dollar Tree that I actually like. So I found this Wet n Wild highlighter in Royal Calyx, which is like a blue purple, which is kind of what we have going on right now. So let's see if we can do something with this in the lower lash line. Maybe we can add some of this. I love these little highlighters from What a Wild. I think that they're so good. They're actually really, really good. So I'm just gonna put some of this. Okay, we are gonna break into our setting spray. So this is the Heart Candy Luminous Pearl Finish Setting Spray, and I'm going to use some of this to hopefully get some pigment out of this highlight. What a while highlights are usually really good, but I don't know if maybe it's been a Dollar Tree for too long or what. That setting spray smells like a sneeze. <laughs> That's what my daughter would say. It smells like a sneeze. It's a pretty highlight though. I typically do enjoy the Wet n Wild highlights. I don't know what's wrong with this one though, it's a little dry. The Wet n Wild highlights are normally not like that. This one's a little dry. Or they. <sighs> we were doing so good. But it's okay. This this happens. Okay, so let's move on to the Ioni things. Now that we have our stuff done, let's try the eyeliner. So this is the Ioni Liquid Felt Tip Eyeliner and the shade Orange Sorbet, which I believe is a black, extreme black set. So uh, hopefully this will be a good eyeliner. Cute packaging though, I enjoy it. I love all like the fruit and chocolate themed. It's a very chunky eyeliner, but hopefully actually pretty nice the only thing is that the tip is a little hard so it can get away from you so you can end up creating a little bit of a thicker um, line than what you actually meant but it's actually pretty nice I enjoyed it it went on top of the um, liquid shadow pretty good um, so it is super black I don't know how it wears that's that would be like my my thing is like seeing how it wears because sometimes um eyeliners don't last very well or they bleed this one kind of bled a little bit here i don't know if you guys can see it, it kind of bled a little bit um, as far as the um the liquid shadows i do have to say that the pink one the la colors feels a really nice I, bar I barely feel it um but the blue one it actually feels a little bit drying on my eyes um but it still feels okay like it doesn't feel uncomfortable or nothing i just can't i, I can feel it when i close my eyes um but the pink one is actually very very comfortable i'm just gonna put a little bit here where the eyeliner bled Okay, well, I'm just making it worse. So, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I thought that the eyeliner was dry. Let's just wait and see if it dries even more. I thought the eyeliner was dry, but it's not. Okay, let's try the pencil. So, I have the pencil eyeliner in chocolate mousse. So, I think this is, oh, it's, a, it's black. I was gonna say it's a brown, but it's actually a black. So let's try this one and see. I love the packaging with the chocolate and the cherries. Very pretty. Okay, well, it's just a pencil. It's very black, very pretty. So again, my thing with this would be how it wears. It went on really nice, as you can tell, it's really black. Um, but I would like to see how it wears before I say if I like it or not. So we're just gonna leave it on for a little longer. And we'll see. Um, let's try the pencil for your eyebrows. So I have two 
two eyebrow pencils here. I have the brow pencil in natural brow perfect perfect arch and I think this is like medium brown I also have the brow primer wax oh so this is a wax and this is a pencil and then we have the gel so let's start with the wax here's the wax and here's this bully so let's try it's a nice bully brushes my brows really nicely The wax is actually very soft. I was thinking that it was gonna be like, you know, like waxy and hard. It's actually pretty soft. And the pencil is just a pencil. It doesn't have a spoolie. So it's nice that the wax one does have a spoolie. And again, this one's a medium brown. I'm not seeing a lot of color. Okay, here we go. This is a very warm tone, medium brown. It's more like in the reddish. It's right there. Yeah, it's more reddish. It's okay. It's not my favorite. It's okay. Let's try the gel. This is the brown gel. It says tinted and non sticky, tame and volume. And this is in dark brown. And that's what it looks like. And this is supposed to be dark brown. So let's see. Ooh, it's like super, super pigmented. This bully is like really big, and then this is like super pigmented. Wow. No, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. how my brows look they look so bad this messed it up no mm -mm. no ma'am no ma'am no thank you they are horrible I mean look at this this is horrible this is horrible beyond horrible no no I need to take those brows off. They look so bad. Oh my god, they look horrible. Uh uh. Nope. Skip out on those products. Ugh. No, no, no. They look so bad. Ugh. No, I prefer nothing on my brows. This is horrible. This is so bad. Okay. No. Don't like that. Okay. <sighs> Let's move on to mascara. Hopefully the mascara will be much nicer. So this is the Vanilla Bean Ioni Dramatic Black Mascara. It says instant volume and thickness, long lasting. It's a pretty big tube. Oh, it has a really big, really big spoolie. So let's see. It has a scent. It has like a perfumey scent. I don't know if I like that on my mascara. Nothing. I see nothing. Okay. Let's try the other one on this side and see how it goes. This is the vol Voluminizing Black Mascara. This is the Minty Fresh. It says, Spe special tapered brush allows even application to all lashes. This is the tube, it's much thinner. Something is definitely irritating my eye because my eyes are so watery. Here's the wand for this one. Let's see.
Okay, something that's really irritating my eyes. I don't know if it's the mascara or what. This is so bad. It's making my lashes like clump together, sticky. No, I don't like these mascaras. I don't like them at all. I don't like them at all. Okay, I'm just going to be putting a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, my lashes have never looked so bad in my life. Like, they have never looked so bad in my life. Like, they <laughs> so bad and my eyes feel so heavy and they're like watery and stuff it's just not a good look let's just try and get over this <laughs> um so the last things that i have from the ioni line are lip stuff so i have two lip glosses and one lipstick so i have the lipstick in red this one is the berry fam or berry jam it says comfortable long lasting matte finish and I got it in red. <sighs> I'm not gonna try it on my lips, but let's swatch it. It's a pretty red. Oh that's very very fun. Very pretty red. It doesn't really have a scent to it. The PB and J lip gloss it says soft, non-sticky, and shiny. Let's try let's try this one. I will try this one. This is how my night is going. <laughs> this is how this makeup is going. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's not very shiny. It's not very shiny. I like the color. I would say it's like a like a cream like a lipstick in a tube doesn't really remind me of a lip gloss <laughs> why well, I did a horrible job at applying this <sighs> it feels nice though it feels really good I like the color it's just not with this eye look I have one more I have this one this is the sweet buzz lip gloss and a pink gold that's what it looks like so they're kind of dry that's why they remind me more of like a lipstick than a lip gloss so dry I'm gonna go with my eye look though but I did want to mention that I did find if you guys watched my um my uh what do you call it my um hard candy video that i posted not that long ago i talked about these these are the hybrids or the duos <laughs> it has a lipstick and a lip gloss um and the lipstick is like um glittery it's so pretty i told you guys in that video that i'm in love with these well i found one at the dollar tree so the one that i got at walmart is called rocking rose which is so pretty and then i found this one at the dollar tree this one's called flawless fuchsia and i love these so if you guys see these pick these up don't get these these, these are nice these are really good not to mention that they're super so stinking adorable that glitter oh, so pretty as much as my eyes <laughs> i'm very prismatic today look how pretty that is and the glitter is throughout the whole lip lipstick so it's really pretty yeah i love these these are so pretty I love it. I love these. They are so, so good. They're so nice, so pretty. Okay, well, this look came out nothing like I thought it was going to. That is to set. So I'm gonna use the Heart Candy Glow Setting Mist. That's a very aggressive um, 
Miss. I have to say that the face products that I tried, I loved. So, <laughs> I already know that I love the um, Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. Um, I already know that the Sassy and Chic um, Foundation, Moisturizing Foundation, is my favorite one. Love it. Um, 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I love the Heart Candy Duos, if you see them. Beautiful. Um, stay away from the Ioni stuff, you guys. This stuff is not good. The eyelashes may be good, but their makeup sucks. The only thing that I liked was the wax pencil, and that was it. I didn't like any of the other things. Just stay away, even if it's a dollar. Like, no. No. I did not like any of the Ioni stuff. I didn't like the eyeshadow from Broadway. I didn't like them at all. I did like the Flower Beauty uh, blushes that we tried. Um, the concealer from Wet n Wild was actually not that bad. Um, the little eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadows, I like the LA Color one. I feel like it feels really nice. It's very pretty, um, but the blue one feels kind of heavy and something it was giving me like an irritation in my eyes. I don't know if it was the the, the Ioni um, eyeliner, it might have been because that whole Ioni thing, no. Um, I like the sponge, I ended up liking the sponge a lot, so if you guys see that sponge, pick it up. Ooh, the little face things, the beauty benefits, these are good. If you guys see these, pick them up, they're so good. Um, also, the LA bronzer, if you like a little bit of shine to your face, these are really good. The highlight is also very good. Um, I didn't use that today, but I've used it in the past and it's really, really good. Um, these little, do like those little single shadows, they don't really have a lot of pigment. Um, the lip balms are nice. They do have a lot of color though, so keep that in mind. The little flash from Revlon is really nice if you see it. Pick it up. And yeah this spray it's okay um the spray was kind of aggressive but it's okay it definitely gave me a glow so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> i did not enjoy playing with this makeup everything was going good until i did the eyeshadow and then everything went downhill from there um but yeah you guys stay away from the eye only stuff not good at all so <laughs> I hope this video helped. I know that it's only a dollar, but even if it's a dollar, we expect good things when we buy stuff. So <sighs> be mindful of where you spend your dollars. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye.